Greetings everyone. Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 27th January 2023. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court has observed that when a victim dies after a lapse of considerable time due to injuries inflicted by an accused, it would not diminish the liability of the perpetrator in a murder case. News highlights from the High Courts. Starting with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court has ruled that objections available under Section 47 of the Code of Civil Procedure cannot be considered by a court at the time of enforcement of an arbitration award under Section 36 of the Arbitration and Conciliation Act 1996. The High Court has observed that an arbitration clause contained in a contract executed with a partnership firm will continue in effect even after the death of a partner causing the dissolution of the partnership. The High Court has observed that denying a woman the right to medical termination of pregnancy in sexual assault cases would amount to denying her the human right to live with dignity as she has a right in relation to her body, including the right to say yes or no to being a mother. The central government has informed the Delhi High Court that it is not permissible for an individual to first take the dose of Covishield and the second dose of Covaxin. News highlights from other High Courts in the country. The Bombay High Court has ruled that informals take huge risks to give important information to the authorities and that the authorities should reward them accordingly as per government policy. The Karnataka High Court has quashed proceedings initiated against a man for posting on his Facebook page a message, the contents of which, as claimed by the police, amounted to insulting the soldiers and disturbing the peace and tranquility of the society. The Madras High Court has held that non-signatories to an arbitration agreement can be referred to arbitration by invoking the doctrine of alter ego only in exceptional cases where there is convincing evidence that the non-signatory is the alter ego of the signatory. The Calcutta High Court, in hearing an appeal filed under Section 117A Subclause 2 of the Patents Act, has ruled that for applying the test of inventiveness of an invention sought to be registered under the said Act, the same has to be applied by considering the invention as a whole. The Kerala High Court has ruled that mentally retarded persons are also entitled to tax exemption in purchase of motor cars on par with the physically handicapped persons under the notification issued by the state government in 1998 under Section 22 of the Kerala Motor Vehicles Taxation Act 1976. This concludes the news for today. Thank you so much.